Hello, this is Steve here, the head banging Zulu. Um, firstly, um, this is my competition entry into Metal Runs 400 subs contest. Um, firstly, congratulations on reaching 400 subs, sir. Uh, I do watch your channel and I think it's brilliant and I want to congratulate you all wholeheartedly. Um, what the questions were, basically, um, you have to go uh, and choose what's in my collection for genres um, that uh, I'm not associated with or you'd never think I'd listen to in a million years and uh, there is a few um, in my collection I have it's in two parts basically in this room I'm in the sitting room and this is where all the stuff I'm listening to now all me heavy metal um, I do keep some stuff I'm going to show you but in the bedroom is where I keep all the other stuff I find. That's where all the mixed genres are. Um, I'm into quite a few. I like heavy metal is in me blood. Rock's in me blood. And 99.9% uh, of the music I listen to is uh, heavy metal or rock. I don't listen to a lot of the stuff I'm about to show you. but Because um, what happens is... This stuff tends to be saved for a Sunday when people are here. But I do generally, what I'm about to show you, I do genuinely love it. Um, also for the fact, I don't try not to buy it now. Um, the problem is, if you start diversifying, um, it costs money to buy records. And I get it home and I think, wow, I could have spent that money on a heavy metal record or a rock record. And this is the problem. Unless it's really, really, really cheap, then I'll pick it up. And a lot of the stuff y you'll see um, is picked up really cheap. Um, I don't like. I do spend big money on certain artists, um, especially Taj Mahal. I think you're going to see one of a couple of his records, or at least one anyway. Um, but there is um, people outside of metal. I will spend a lot of money on. I really love their music. Um, also for the fact, because I'm a um, South African family, I do have a lot of South African music. And that is one thing I've already shown you. I decided to show you the Soweto Gospel on last Sunday. I think it's my last but one video, or last but two. If you look, scroll back to my previous videos, it's no se uh, secret I love uh, the Soweto Gospel Choir. And I also like South African folk music. I've got several vinyl albums in here, but I did want to sh show them. Also, I like the Rat Pack. I've been known to listen to that. I do own CDs of theirs, but they're in the bedroom. Um, of the four, I always thought Dean Martin was the best singer. That's my opinion. But I do like Frank Sinatra. And uh, friends of mine who are into him, um, it doesn't offend me. I do, I do like to listen to him in very small doses. It's not something I will listen to sort of on a weekly basis, but I do like the Rat Pack, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, that sort of stuff. Another big favourite of mine, which I do own a lot of his CDs, is Neil Diamond. Um, I discovered Neil Diamond probably in the mid-70s, and I've been a massive fan of his ever since. Um, I've got probably about 15 CDs of his and at least half a dozen LPs. Another um, singer you might not associate with me as well is Elvis. Uh, again, I absolutely love Elvis. I've got about 10 to 12 of his albums in the collection. And uh, there's nothing wrong with the king. I don't care what country you come from. The king rocks and rules in my, my house. But I do occasionally pull out an Elvis album. Um, but I'm going to show a few records. Because <laughs> we are on the BC and that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I'm into the style, this sort of early 70s soul, um, funk, um, that sort of stuff. From about, um, shall we say, about 68 to 76 before it all went disco. If you watch Aaron, Metal Theologian, um, he's done a couple of funk um, films. And a lot of the stuff he held up, I've got. But this is a band you can't go wrong with. It's a stylistics. And this record's called Fabulous, and this is an amazing record cover. It's just absolutely male harmony at its best. Um, another um, genre I love, it's this, it's soccer music from Trinidad. And these albums, were, they tend to be very expensive, um, 
all very cheap. I think they're on Discogs, but I do love these albums. The only thing is, you've got to watch the covers. They're a bit saucy, as you can see. Uh, just say that lady's had a very, very close shave. But yeah, I, I have got a lot of these records, and they're really nice. Uh, another genre you won't hit is uh, reggae. This is the second Prince Farai album before he went, I think he went on to Virgin afterwards. I can't remember the first one, but it was Christian, um, like Lord's Eye Shepherd to reggae music or something. But this is a reissue I bought, I, I, I paid a bit of money for this. Uh, sadly, I think Prince Farai is no longer with us. Um, I think he died in the 80s, that's when all the reggae stars get, um, died. But uh, I do prefer him to Marley. Uh, I'm a big Prince Far Eye fan. And uh, this is the second album, I believe. It's Heavy Manners. Uh, good album, great album. Um, another uh, guy you will not associate with, me with is the Prince. Sadly, no more. He died last year. This is my only Prince vinyl record I own in the collection. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got loads and loads of his CDs as well. I think I'm going to call, rename this video uh, Records to Make Blackmore Rules Cringe. <laughs> but uh, nah. Another genre you won't associate with, with me is jazz. Us English are uh, culture, Darren. But uh, this is uh, rock, John Coltrane. I really like Coltrane, the same as Aaron. Um, I bought this as a reissue. This was live at the uh, Van Village Vanguard. And it's an awesome record. I love it. I've got loads of Coltrane, I've got Miles Davis, I've also got uh, the other guy Aaron held up, and it's just um, for sake the spiritual guy, I just forgot his name now, oh well, but you know, I do love jazz, and this is the record as well, but you can't beat a bit of Coltrane, um, it's just amazing, again, if, if I, I sometimes go through jazz phases, and if they're cheap, I will pick them up. But as I say, another album I want to show, and it's the last album, um, is this one. This is the Stevie Wonder talking book. Um, I paid it, this is the funky one, I think, because uh, this is the funk. Um, but this album cost me about a lot of money. Um, I think it's on there, yeah, it was £6. But it's a Portuguese import. But I do love Stevie Wonder. I think this was when he was in his folk phase. But I'm a massive fan. Another genre of music I'm into big is ska. Uh, bands like Bad Manners, uh, Madness, uh, Level, uh, this is Level, as they come from Gang, uh, Special, sorry, because they come from just down the road in Coventry. I think it's, there's another band from uh, Coventry as well, I can't remember, but I love them. Uh, that sort of music. And I'm a, a massive punk fan as well. I've got loads of punk CDs. But the trouble is, it's all like pub punk, and uh, you, a lot of the VC will never have heard of the bands. Um, I might do a show, but I'm not really into the Pistols, and the, I'm into the Clash, them sort of bands. Uh, but I'm more into the pub stuff that what I listen to. Um, what else am I into? Uh, female um, vocalists. Um, I can't think any of off hand. I have, oh yeah, Hooman, Rag and Bone Man. He's another artist, which is non-metal I've discovered. I really enjoyed his CD. That CD does get played a lot. But uh, I'm thinking of female vocalist. I can't think of any offhand. I'm definitely not a Madonna fan. Um, some of Pink songs I can listen to. Madonna, forget about it. I can't stand the woman. Um, uh, the only one I can think of is Pink. A lot of the stuff, it just irritates me to pieces and, I, and it's sort of stuff, I just can't handle it. But anyway, I thought I'd give you an insight into my musical um, tastes anyway. Um, but there's a lot more in the collection that I might have overlooked or I'm too embarrassed to tell the VC I like it. I know uh, Greg's been hoarding a load of Walt Disney albums uh, in secret, but he's not. he doesn't want to tell anybody. I'm, oh, sorry, Greg, I didn't mean to say that. And uh, it would be interesting to hear what other VC members um, have, have uh, withheld. And uh, But uh, yeah, but that's about it with me. Nothing really embarrassing. But I can't think of any more genres. Neil Diamond, I mentioned that. Country and Western, I can sort of take it. Um, you know, I can lo love or take it. I really like Billy Hurst's album. I bought that. But uh, it's sort of not. I'm, I'm a metalhead, you see. And it's sort of imprinted upon me. And. Um, 
nothing else. I've been listening to the genre now, or the rock genre, since Queen had Bohemian Rhapsody in the charts, and it's all we ever listened to was rock, then a uh, bit of punk, then metal, and when I discovered metal through um, Iron Maiden, um, Run to the Hills, and I actually bought the record, when it, remember it when it came out, it's always been metal for me, um, all the way. Then I got into fresh metal, and it's blown my mind. I might do another film later, I don't know yet, but this is just to give you an insight. Thank you very much for watching me again, and take care folks, and have fun. And uh, congratulations again, Ron. Well deserved, buddy. Take care.